Hey guys, so we're going to code how to log out a user. Now we're going to add a new module called logout. And we can pretty much copy over similar to what we did for me. So I can copy the test, I can copy the resolver, and then also um, the schema as well. And then we're just going to put in new information. Oops, we don't want to delete. Okay, so starting with the schema, we are going to have, we have to have a query because of the bug, so I'm just going to create a dummy one that returns a string. And then we're going to have mutation, and for the mutation we are going to have login, or sorry, not login, logout. And we don't need to pass it any arguments, and we don't really need to pass any uh, return value, so I'm just going to create a boolean that returns true or false, but honestly it doesn't really matter what it, what it gets. Um, and then I'm going to call this logout.typescript, oops, logout.test.ts, and then in my resolvers we're going to have the same thing. So we'll have a query which is dummy, and this returns dummy and then we're going to have our mutation and then to log out we're going to do um, something very simple and that is to destroy the session so to log out a user we really just need to uh, remove it from the session uh, which is in Redis, and then also remove their cookie, but really just removing it from Redis does it, but I believe it does both of these things. Because we're persisting the user with the session library, uh, express session, which also uses um, a cookie. So we could get rid of that cookie, but we also want to get rid of the data on our side, and that's why we have this mutation, to destroy the data that we're storing on this user. And that's really what we want to do when we log out the user. So we don't really care about the first argument of the resolver um, or the second one. We really just care about this third one, which has that session. And now what we want to call is session.destroy. And what this does, it'll destroy, and we can get rid of this stuff up here. It'll destroy the current user's session. Now it doesn't like it because we don't have the types uh, destroy on this. And we can fix this by going to our types, uh, GraphQL utilities, and instead of just having a session here, I'm going to have it extend um, express session. And now this should be better. Here we go, yeah. Um, and session.destroy takes a callback instead of a promise. So the way you handle callbacks, at least when you want to do them asynchronously, is we can return a promise. Um, so new promise, um, and here we have function and the first parameter is going to be the resolve and we're going to resolve this callback so here it'll give us an error and we can console.log log out error which we really shouldn't get any Oops. so if there's an error we'll console log it to see what it is otherwise we'll resolve true um, and I'll just return the boolean true which is perfect uh, and that's pretty much it for our mutation right here so we just destroy the session and when we call session.destroy what this will do is it'll clear it from Redis any data we stored for that user so now let's test this uh, out and uh, we pretty much are going to run actually the same test as we did for me and I can get rid of this test here, um, but this get current user one. So I'm going to test log out here. And a lot of this code is going to be similar, so there's no point in writing this same stuff out again. So I'm going to create a function here that we can export. So export uh, const um, login and query me. And we'll call it test. So login and query me test. This is async, and I want to do this stuff right here. Paste it in, and I want to await. So 
so wait and what did I call it login and query test all right so now I can run the same test in my logout over here instead of doing all this stuff so login and query me all right and the reason why I am doing this login and query me thing is I'm making sure that I'm able to log in, which will create a cookie and it'll start storing some information on me. And then I'm querying me to make sure I can actually get that data um, and that it has my user ID and we can fetch the user. Then what I want to do is call log out and make sure this fails when I actually call the me mutation or the me query. Um, so we can get rid of the login mutation here and we're fine doing before all right here creating a user that is just fine all right so after we so we're going to create a user just like we do for the me because we're going to use this user to actually log in um, so this uh, test logging out a user uh, and so as I said, after we do this, what we want to do is log out. So const log out mutation. And I'm going to call mutation log out. And again, no arguments need to be passed here. Um, nothing really needs to be done here except uh, nothing gets passed back. That's all we need to call. So here we're going to say Axios and we're going to say uh, post and we're going to pass in the URL, which is going to be process.env.testHost as string. Um, data that we're going to pass in is going to be our query, which is going to be the logout mutation. Uh, and then lastly, and here we go, with credentials is going to be true. So after this is called, we're going to wait this. Uh, there's really no point in checking whether we got uh, a boolean response true because we don't really care about that what we really care about is the token getting cleared or the data getting cleared and to make sure the data is cleared all i really want to do is to query uh, me and make sure we get null back uh, and so that's going to be this uh, right here yep this is my me test so this one right here uh not this test right here so no cookie. So why don't we export const um, no cookie test. And put that in there. And we'll wait no cookie test. Alright, so now I'm going to call the no cookie test. Okay, so let's run the test for this and see if this works. What should happen is we log in, uh, creating a cookie, storing the user ID in Redis. Um, then we're going to query uh, that user, calling the me query. That should work. Then we're going to call Axios post. We're going to log out which should clear the data that we have on our server for us. And then lastly, we uh, make another request and hopefully it should send back nothing. Um, and really with the no cookie test, what I wanna do, I'm gonna say with credentials is true. Um, well, I guess I want with credentials true with the other one and uh, with credentials false here, so actually, I'm not gonna have. I'm not gonna create this with a test. So here, I want to make sure. I, I I don't think I can have a function that I use in both places because I want them to be slightly different. So let's move this back. I thought maybe I'd be able to make it so I don't have to repeat code, but I think it's better to just split it up like so. Because what I want to do here is say with credentials true and the reason why is I want to make sure even though I may be sending a cookie 
that uh, that cookie does not have any data on our server. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if destroy clears the cookie or if it just removes the data in Redis. Um, but either way, uh, we should not be getting any data when we call uh, this. All right, so let's give this a try. So yarn test and see what happens. And we'll just let this uh, run the log out. Hopefully it should be able to uh, find that that's the only one we changed. I guess I also changed the me test. So it's got to run that. And all right, cool. Um, we uh, failed. Let's see what happens here. So already has active connection error. Cannot create a new connection. Um, that's kind of interesting. And first off, I noticed we don't need that. And no cookie there. I'm not sure why we're getting that, the, the connection already open thing, because we have this closed. Like we close it in the test over here. And now we're running them synchronously. Um, I'm just going to try running it again. And I, I had it run all the tests. I'm curious whether, OK, so it's literally only this test that breaks, logout.test. Log um, I'm guessing it's because we are, um, I'm importing from the test that it is messing it up. So what I'm going to do is create a new file called testutils.ts. Do I want to do test utils? You know what? I won't even do that. I'll just I'm just gonna copy and paste. I think this will just be easiest. And maybe I'll change the test um, in different ways later on. Another thing I was kind of worried about if I used a function was maybe the cookie would not be saved in the Axios instance, um, which would not be good. Alright, let's get rid of that. So now we're just going to go ahead and do the whole test and log out instead of trying to share code because I think that would just cause us problems. Um, I need to add the login mutation back though. All right. And let's see what else code we have to change. The user ID. And this we'll call response to. So then over here, I had removed that before. Let user ID, and we'll say user ID is equal to user ID. All right. And one last error. We need that to be a string. All right. Let's see what's going on with that now. And nice. So all the tests are now passing. So that means we are successfully logging out the user, destroying any data we're storing on him. Um, and just to prove this, or to, to test my theory, we should be able to, for example, do the exact same thing. So I should be able to uh, request uh, the me query again before logging out, and I should get me. So this is just me doing it again. Um, so this is response three. This is actually just me wanting to try a little something. I'm gonna remove this out of the test because I think it's redundant. But I just wanna make sure that uh, we can indeed request the me query multiple times and cool, it does, it does work. So again, let's go over this one last time. We're pretty much all done with this. Um, we log in. We request our user. It knows who we are based on the cookie. We then log out right here. And after we log out, um, when we request our user, we get null back. So perfect. Now, we're not done with log out quite yet. And the reason for that is we're not handling the case where there are multiple um, tabs open. So let's say I open up or I log into this using my mom's computer. 
and then I later log in using my phone. I'm now logged in in two different places, um, so when I click log out, I'm only logging out of the place that I logged out of. But what I want to do really is universally log out that user. So if they log out on their phone, it then logs them out everywhere. Now, this might not actually be the functionality we want to do for log out, but this is a mandatory feature to have. For example, forget password. So when a user forgets out a password, we want to log them out of all their accounts um, and not let them basically be able to be stayed logged in even after they've changed their password. So that's what we'll be doing next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.